right thing for the American people if he did step down. And do you believe that uh, Jim Comey should resign, Senator Reid? Of course. The FBI director has no credibility. The president ought to fire Comey immediately, and he ought to in initiate an investigation. The, there needs to be restoration of the credibility of the FBI. All right, that pretty much tells it all, and that's not all. President Trump also retweeted something that Rosie O'Donnell posted back in 2016. She wrote, fire Comey. Now Trump retweeted, and he wrote, we finally agree on something, Rosie. Here with reaction, counsel to the president, Kellyanne Conway is with us. You know, it's such hypocrisy and such a high level. Chuck Schumer is the worst. Nancy Pelosi not far behind. Harry Reid is, is right in there with the rest of them. And Bernie Sanders, you know, poor Bernie in all of this. You know, he should be the most angry at Hillary Clinton and, and James Comey, if you ask me. Uh, what's your reaction to the way the left is creating these bizarre conspiracies? They once again show, show Sean they have absolutely no message. The message is resist, obstruct, deny, insult, insinuate. And you know, I was looking back at a poll that was taken in March by the Harvard-Harris poll survey. And in March, 41% of Democrats said they had an unfavorable view of Jim Comey to 12% of Democrats who said it was favorable. Why was it 41 unfavorable? Because Democratic leaders were out there trashing this guy all through the fall. And now they want to make him a martyr. Um, I would point out to you today that in addition to what the president himself said, which is most important in the interview with a different network, that Mr. McCabe, the acting FBI director today, under sworn testimony, said that the firing of Jim Comey does not impact their ongoing investigations at all and that they have sufficient resources. The media printed the opposite. They said that they had asked for more resources. He said, we have enough of them. Somebody, a single source, quote, somebody close close to the White House, I don't know if they mean at the sandwich shop or the coffee shop across the street, but quote, somebody close to the White House said that uh, Mr. Rosenstein had tried to, had threatened to re resign. Um, the Department of Justice today said that's simply not true. So there's such a rush for, to judgment. There's, there's such yeah. this presumptive negativity and it makes these people lose their minds and well, become hypocrites. It, it, look, this is all fake news. I mean, because the report was, and you're right, what he said earlier today was absolutely true. The investigation continues. The president says he wants, to, wants it to yes, continue. Yes, the president wants it to, to continue and to conclude. And Leader McConnell is also right. He said yesterday, Sean, that you just, the House and the Senate are investigating this. Just let it keep going. The FBI is investigating. Let's just forward right. ahead. And, and, and by the way, we know this has happened in past elections, and we have been told by intelligence officials it'll happen in future elections. I think one of the, the greatest examples, though, of selective moral outrage happens to be that Barack Obama even used State Department dollars. If influencing elections is bad, why did Barack Obama use his State Department and political operatives to try and unseat one of our greatest allies, the Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu? If it really, if, if impacting elections, influencing elections is so wrong, how come nobody seemed to care about that? One of our well, closest people, allies. Yeah, people forget all about that. They have selective amnesia when it comes to what was done in the past and what they've even said in short order. So I think, look, the, the president made a decision this week. It was his decision to make. He was resolute and decisive, exactly what we've seen in past decisions uh, in this early administration. Sean, and people who are questioning that just need to listen to him in these interviews. He said he had thought about it for a long time and he made the decision and, and it's final. But also the acting FBI director says that he can still go, go forward with everything as is. The other thing I just wanted to mention is because it gets no coverage. Now the president is also talking about the economy and jobs, what's next on health care. He signed an executive order today on cybersecurity. He's doing so many things. He's preparing for his first foreign trip with five different stops. And I would also point out to you that polls, the good polls that don't get picked up, this morning consult political poll that shows vast majorities of Americans support so many of the, the pieces of the spending that went through last week. Nobody talks about that because it's positive for the president. By 7 to yeah. 1, 77 to 11, Americans support these health Last benefits question. for the coal miners. You know, all these fake news networks, they really are fake news, have been trying to come up with this, this liberal talking point and making comparisons that this is Nixonian. This is the equivalent of the Saturday night massacre when in fact Nixon was trying to stop an investigation and, and a special prosecutor 
This president is not stopping it. There were no requests for extra funds. That's another media lie. Mm -hmm. And he's requesting, he wants to get answers. And he set up a, an executive order commission to look into this type of fraud and other That's issues right. involving elections as well today. He did that today. Usually people want to do that after they lose an election or right before an election. Yeah. He's doing it with after he won the election decisively and long before he's up for re-election. He's doing it because he believes in ballot integrity and the fairness of the process. Uh, but look, people who are completely losing it over this just have to stop and look at the facts and listen to the sworn testimony today from the acting FBI director. Listen to the president himself in this interview. But there's so much good news coming out of here that does not get covered because it's not, you know, it's not titillating. Um, you've got you've got these other polls that just show that he is he's got f very good approval ratings and favorability scores, Sean, on how he's handling veterans issues, how he's handling the economy, and how he's handling terrorism. The president promised accountability, safety and security, prosperity. It's already happening. Look at the jobs numbers. Look at the manufacturing numbers. All these indicators that matter to people who are actually looking for news and not listening to noise. All right. Thanks so much, Kellyanne Conway, counsel to the president. And coming up on this busy breaking news night tonight, right here on Hannity. She deleted the emails, she has to go to jail. That was President Trump saying that Hillary Clinton should be behind bars because of her private email server scandal. Well, now that Jones Comey has been fired, could this FBI now reopen the investigation? That is a real possibility. We'll ask investigative reporter Sarah Carter and attorney Joe DeGeneva. That's next and also tonight. You obviously have been very critical of James Comey in the past. You said that he had no credibility. I assume that you support the president's decision then to fire his FBI director. No, I do not necessarily. <laughs> you have to laugh at this. Democrats continuing to contradict themselves and just show how hypocritical they really are. Later tonight, we get reaction from the one and only Lou Dobbs. Please stay with us on this busy news night. I know.